you're broke because you're being the same as everybody else. I thought I'd make this video today to point some of the, one of the biggest observations I've ever made in my life, honestly. Uh, when I was younger and when I first started making money, I didn't look at things the same way as everybody else did. I'll put that uh, one of the biggest scams right now is college. College is terrible because people don't think about it in the right light, and that's why everybody's going, in my personal opinion. Uh, they look at it like you go there, you get this piece of paper, and bam, you got a job with this piece of paper. This piece of paper makes you eligible to get this job, and yeah, in some cases it might, but you're looking at it the completely wrong way. Like, you don't go to college and get your MBA just because you want to go work uh, for Verizon. I, I want to go work for Verizon, so I'm going to go get my MBA. No, your MBA and what you learn in college is supposed to be different. It's not supposed to be regurgitated knowledge like, well, you know, uh, I'm a professor, and this is how uh, pie charts work, and this is how statistics work. And when you're working for somebody else, you know, I would probably never go to that class again if I was in a business class and the guy was talking about. Now, when you work for somebody else, no. See, that's where people are getting it wrong, and I feel like that's what a lot of colleges are doing now. Way eh? when you go and work for somebody else, and you fight against a thousand people with the same degree you have, this is what you can expect. Here's statistics. Here's how you use Excel to uh, formulate expense sheets. Yeah, this is what they're teaching people in college nowadays. Terrible, absolutely terrible. I was not going to go. Uh, if you're going for an MBA degree, this guy should be showing trends and that how to start your own business and stuff like this but i feel like it gets just regurgitated in the theory and stuff like this and there was no way i was about to go get like 50 grand in debt to one have somebody like that just talk down to me the whole time have uh you know i feel like you're kind of like a prisoner if you go to college and you're you're also you're also paying a mortgage to go be a prisoner and then get something relatively useless that you could, probably could have found all this stuff out on your own. You know, especially the MBA portion, like you could have uh, you could have paid some 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 person that started a successful business, very successful business, probably locally in your area. You could probably call them and be like, hey. I'll pay you three grand. There you go. You've already saved way more than what you went to college for. If you'll talk to me the next month, uh, one day a week for the next month, I'll give you three grand if you tell me, uh, give me an idea and a plan of how to start my own business. There you go. $50,000 or learn in four weekends, which uh, probably more and better advice than you would have learned the whole time you're in college. So, uh, yeah, I feel, uh, the main problem I have with college is I feel like it throws you into the herd mentality. You know, they're pumping out each graduation at a state college, probably two to 300 MBAs, MBA, bachelor, you know, degrees. They're pumping it out like you're a bunch of uh, processed meat. I, I look at it as a bunch of sheep. Just hopping down the line, you know. Wow, give me my MBA degree. Give me my MBA degree. A lot of successful people did not follow this same path. A whole lot of successful people. But when you're doing the same thing everybody else is, you're screwing yourself. Because uh, drive through your town and look at how many houses cost $1 million or more. Okay. Now go and look at how many houses cost less than $1 million. There's a lot less of those $1 million houses or more, and that's uh, because the people below that are all doing the same thing, and they're all stuck down here. And the people that live over there on that rich side of town, they're all doing something differently. And that's why they're over there. People do not think about it that way, though. They think, oh, they got lucky. Uh, they say all kinds of stuff, but they won't look at the trends. You're doing the same thing this guy is, and that's why you're living right beside him. You know what I'm saying? That's why you can both afford to live right beside each other, because you're doing the same thing Bob is that lives right beside you. 
that was one of the things I strive for is to do something differently, at least just a little bit. That's why I think I have more money in my bank account than 95% of people my age. And I don't even own my own business. I mean, this is just, I'm starting off here where I'm at now because it makes good money for what I'm doing now. And it's not the same thing everybody else my age is doing. I'm not doing the same things. I'm doing drastically different things. And I believe that's what, in the end, makes you successful. And I believe that's what's holding a lot of people back, especially my generation. You own it. You've got to own it. You've got to find a way to get out of what everyone else is doing. And as soon as you do that, you'll be living on the rich side of town. You'll be living and, you know, I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm just spewing observational advice from someone, like I said, that I think personally I found the right path to go on. And I, I plan to expand upon that because you're not truly successful. You know, I'm working somewhere with other people now. You're not truly successful until you're doing something different by yourself or with a small group of people that have the same idea, you know, that we all shouldn't be right here and can look at especially the United States in a different way, you know. Think about the guy who made Walmart. Think about the guy who made McDonald's, you know. They weren't doing the same thing that their next-door neighbor was. Their next-door neighbor was making vehicles for GM, and this guy's like, I think I'm going to make a whole bunch of department stores that have l the lowest prices, you know, because Sam Walton's big thing was, I'm going to get people the best possible prices by ordering massive amounts of stock so I can get them at a cheaper price and I can make myself more profit than I would have normally but also save this person down here money. He was thinking differently than what every other department store was doing at the time, what every other <laughs> retailer was doing at the time. And that's why Walmart's the number one retailer right now because he thought a little bit different. How about the guy, you know, McDonald's pretty much like the first fast food restaurant there was out there. I was thinking differently. What if I use the same amount of meat, make the same amount of hamburgers, have this simplified menu that reduces waste? And what if I give them a very good price for their hamburgers and I'll sell a whole bunch of them and make a whole lot of profit? McDonald's. God did something different that other people weren't doing at the time. Got to think, guys. I mean, you can be happy working and uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying you're going to go broke. Not not going to say you're not going to be able to retire if you follow what other people are doing, but you got a very good chance of living a very good life if you're doing what everyone else isn't doing. <laughs>